What's going on guys? Today we are celebrating the Blu-ray release of Sabak Project Clone and we're going to talk all about it. Welcome to Victims and Villains. If you guys are new to our content, we create content like what you're watching right now simply to educate and engage individuals like yourselves on mental health awareness and suicide prevention through pop culture. My name is Captain Nostalgia. I have the privilege of being a writer, podcaster, and events coordinator here. If you guys would like more information about what we do, more po links to podcasts, all of our social media, Patreon, more movie reviews like this, and... Our most importantly, our mental health resource library links are going to be in the descriptions below. And in those descriptions below, if you guys are interested in checking out this movie that I'm here to talk about today, we're also going to have a link where you guys can purchase the Blu-ray. And speaking of Blu-ray, we're going to be talking about, as I said in the intro, Sabak Project Clone. I don't know if I'm saying that title right, so I really hope I am. I tried to pay close attention to the pronunciation throughout the duration of the film, and I still second-guess myself in the making of this video. But Sabak tells the story of a federal agent who is essentially dying, and in his quest for answers uh, on how to cure himself, he comes across a top-secret uh, government project what kind of project it is is kind of left ambiguous and uh it's neither here nor there in the grand scheme of things but uh yeah just so you guys have a frame of reference long story short man sick man has to take clone man and run away only to come back uh for reasons you guys have been uh following me on this channel and you guys know the less you know the more effective this movie is i feel like this movie could have been really generic and yes sometimes the plot is a little bit complicated uh to kind of tell without actually speaking in a spoiler territory i tried so hard on that synopsis and i still feel like i flubbed it and kind of let it just spoil the territories, but I try to be as ambiguous and as quiet as possible. This film, like I said, could have been like really generic. It could have been another throwaway action movie that you just watch, and it's like the equivalent of like an '80s Schwarzenegger Stallone movie where it's got great action, it's got great sequences, but there's no depth. Everything's just surface. Boy, howdy. Let me tell you about this movie. This movie has a lot of that stuff, but it has so much depth. Things that I was so surprised about in watching this movie was the fact that I actually cared about both of these characters. Gung Yo and Park Bo Gum are both incredible actors in this movie. And their chemistry just is like the foundation of this movie. If their chemistry and their arcs didn't work together, this movie would crumble under the weight of the two leads. Yes, like this is a very, very generic kind of narrative. That's fine. It's the depth and the character development that makes this a special movie. Gung Yo in particular plays a man who is dying and is kind of tasked with this impossible task. His life and Gum's life are inter become interconnected. And at first, what really starts off as this kind of like selfish motivation eventually develops into this almost like brotherhood. In the course of this, this film, there are so many scenes where it's just Yo and Gum just dialoguing and i feel like sometimes if the dialogue isn't interesting for films like this you could really kind of turn off your brain what i loved about it what i found so fascinating about this movie is the fact that a lot of these conversations are like deeply philosophical they are chasing after like the meaning of life and what is it what is man's relation to mortality and how to deal with the afterlife and really preparing yourself for death and the, sometimes the fear that comes with it. Writing in this film is just top notch. Like the writing is so freaking good in this movie. And I'm going to give the writer's card right now. I'll apologize in advance for any mispronunciations of the names. Lee Young-Zoo. Yum Ga-Hon. 
I didn't feel so confident about that one, so I am really, really sorry. Lee J. Min, Jiao Man Zook. Like, typically when you have four writers on a single project, sometimes it's either going to be very cruddy because you're having four conflicting different visions, and then sometimes you get the rare cases like Project Clone and It Chapter One. It's just such a smoothness that, like, there's a there's definitely a voice for the action. There's definitely a voice for the character development. There's definitely a voice for these philosophical, larger-than-life questions. I think the parts that I really admire the most about this is not only the performance, it's not only the writing, not only the action, but it's the pacing. The pacing of this movie, it never feels like it drags because your attention is always drawn to the writing, to the character development, to the chemistry, to the action, to the uh, to these characters and to their journey. I found myself surprisingly like invested into these characters and honestly like I was wrecked <laughs> by the time the credits started rolling. I'm really sorry if that spoiled anything. It, it's it's not. I, I go watch this movie. Before I spoil anything else in this movie, I'm going to go ahead and give my Rorschach rating scale. And if you guys want to check out Sabak Project Clone, it is going to be available on DVD, Blu-ray, and video on demand beginning February 15th from Wellgo Entertainment. Let's go ahead and get into this. This one is going to get a 4 out of 5 for me. I really loved this movie. I found it so entertaining, so fascinating, compelling, riveting gripping it's the performances it's the action it's the pacing it's the it's the score even like the score for this is so good and but also it's it's the conversation and the dialogues between the two characters so just so you guys know this movie is well worth your time it's well worth your investment and as far as blu-rays go you guys get some behind the scenes looks and into making the film and then also how they marketed this film as well so check it out Time for our mental health moment. This is our content. Mental health moment is where we take a theme of mental health and we expand upon it for just a few minutes from the film which we are reviewing in order to deconstruct the stigma surrounding mental health. I think perhaps one of the one of the things that um, really gripped me and enthralled me so much about this movie is uh, Gung, Jio, Gung Yo. Uh, he plays a man who is dying and. I think that that is sometimes could be a really scary topic to take on. There's a point in the movie where the the character is actually talking about whether or not he is scared of dying or if he just doesn't want to live. And it's this moment where he has to confront his own mortality. Also, is always a fascinating thing to see in movies, but it also at the same time, it reminds us how precious life really is from another more notable ip would be stephen king's pet cemetery i think if you've ever read that book one of the core th reasons that i love that book so much is because it reminds us how precious life really is sometimes is often overlooked because we want to never feel sad we never want to feel grief and we never want to feel those feelings of depression or heartache or, you know, whatever that negative feeling is. Rotate our social media around the concept of happiness and joy. And really, we, we are seeing really almost, there's almost kind of this stigma around death and sickness the same way that there is around mental health and suicide. I challenge you in this, when was the last time that you really look took a step back and really looked at your own life and you looked at your own mortality and thought about those types of things life is is fleeting we are here for a moment and then we are gone and that's a scary concept like i'm not going to sit here and make this video and tell you that death is not scary it's not terrifying and it absolutely is even the very thought of something like suicide is a terrifying thought I just want to encourage anyone that's watching this right now that might even be considering suicide to think about the fragile-ness of life and how precious your time and value and uh, just how precious your life is here. And I don't know the circumstances of why you feel this need, but I just want to remind you that you do have value and that you do have worth.
So please consider the links in our descriptions below. On that note, that's going to end it for us. I hope and I just want to encourage you guys to check out the resources in our descriptions below. Also check out Sub uh, Sabak Project Clone when it comes out in DVD Tuesday, February 15th. Thank you guys for checking out. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below.